one of the babies awake. <sighs> well, actual good morning. I've got my good morning buttercup, buttercup? No, my good morning butter pup Animal Crossing mug. This is Austin John Plays merch. Um, and then I've got my English muffin and a bowl of strawberries. I'm gonna eat this and play Animal Crossing. My mom has Grayson. Um, and then I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna get on the treadmill. And then I'm going to get a little bit of reading done and I need to get a little bit of cleaning done. Ooh. I actually am probably gonna eat this and edit yesterday's vlog because I pieced it together, but I don't think I edited it. I'm not really sure. Daily vlogging. What a mess. <laughs> Workout done. Now I'm gonna go drink some water. Okay, so today's Instagram challenge is to take a picture of a book stack. So I already had this on my list of things to do, which was to take a picture of all the five star books that I've read that are written by authors who are of different cultures or races than me. Because I get so tired of hearing people say, I couldn't relate to that book because the main character doesn't look like me or the main character, or I didn't understand the cultural aspects so I couldn't relate to this book. Like reading's not about relatability. Like, yes, you have your comfort reads that you can relate to and make you feel warm and fuzzy, but like, I read books outside of my culture to learn. And yes, for enjoyment too, because I don't find that not being a part of a culture has any impact on me enjoying something that is for entertainment. So like if the book is not written to be educational, sometimes I will get educational things out of it because I'll learn something about a culture I was not familiar with, but I still enjoy it for what it is. So yeah, I was, already planning on doing a book stack of these books. So I'm going to collect those and take that picture now. So I'm hosting a queue on this app called AC Fan for my island on Animal Crossing. Um, because I have something that a lot of people, like a DIY, one of my neighbors is crafting one that a lot of people want. And so this app lets you do like a queue. It's really cool. So if you aren't an Animal Crossing player, then you have no idea what I'm talking about any of that. Like, that's all gibberish. But basically, um, for those of you who do play and have never heard of this app, it lets you say like, hey, my neighbor's crafting this thing. Come get the DIY and you put in your dodo code and you could say like i just want two people on my island at once so it'll let those two people see the code and then as soon as one of those leaves that active queue then it'll show the code to the next person in the waiting queue it's great and especially if you like need resources or like me one of my neighbors is leaving um and once she leaves I want to go searching for specific villagers to fill her spot and um, so I need lots of Nook Miles tickets and so that's what I'm asking for this time. It's great. Anyways, nerd alert. Um, I caught up in my read of this. I actually only have like 50 pages of this left. Um, so it's incredibly interesting and I think the chapter on microaggressions is the one that I was most like inspired by in that like just thinking about things I've heard and opportunities to educate my peers on the fact that like those things while they may seem like they're harmless statements are really kind of like small needling things that add up to a big frustration for people of color 
and also the fact that like every little one of those that we let slide is just another kind of nail in the stability of white supremacy and so it's just important that even the tiniest little microaggressions that we call those out and that we make sure that we are checking those impulses and um yeah it just it was very eye-opening very like perspective um giving and definitely has given me a lot to think about um but just a reminder as always in those situations if the basically one of the things it points out is like take your lead from the person experiencing the microaggression so if they're not speaking out they may have a good reason not to and so you don't want to basically make life harder for them by causing them additional grief by speaking out when they had a good reason not to a good example of that is like if they're if it's like a job situation and it's their boss you don't want to make the boss have animosity towards their employee because you spoke out on their behalf when they wouldn't have because they knew that that would be the case so yeah it's just very interesting and just we have a lot of work to do I have a lot of work to do everyone has a lot of work to do to make our country a safer and better place for everybody I'm making four choices and the poor choice is that I'm going to stay up tonight instead of going to bed when I normally would and play games because I want to play games. Um, so we are having turkey. Just had a brain fart. Um, so we're gonna have turkey burgers. Um, making those now turkey burgers and french fries not really the most healthy option but that's what we're having um and then i'm gonna drink a beer and we're gonna play virtual games with our friends um we've been playing a lot of jackbox but uh thanks to emma from drinking by my shelf i found uh code names online so we're gonna try that tonight which is really exciting because we love code names so um it's friday which means it is now officially two weeks until I go back to work. Um, so, bittersweet. <laughs> uh, so I'm soaking up as much time as I can with the little nugget. Um, but I will be glad to, like, do something other than stare at him all day. Because that's basically what I do right now, is just stare at him all day. Um, but it will be weird to go back to work and only see him like a portion of the day because he'll be with my mom at her house. <sighs> Other than reading, um, catching myself up in So You Want to Talk About Race, I have done no other reading today. I did go upstairs and like roll the dice with my Bookopoly game, which I probably should have filmed, but I did it like real quick. Um, to get the prompts for my August, I almost said June, mm, time has no meaning, my August TBR. Um, so I have been thinking about what books meet those prompts and it's actually pretty good. I, like, I always thought I wouldn't like something where like you have specific prompts and you have to pick certain things. But as long as the prompt is in a specific book, so as long as I can like choose from a selection of books, then I find it, gotta flip the burgers, um, a lot easier. I have to document this because a perfect avocado is a thing of beauty. Like that is perfectly ripe and I am thrilled. My vacations are always ruined by my husband's fart. Enter the Husband Hotbox 3000. Well, we did not play code names, but 
That was a lot of fun. <laughs> I like the drawing games the most. Um, not surprising. I got no additional reading done today. Um, so, tomorrow, well really, I just have to finish my audiobook and finish, so you want to talk about race, and then I've met all of the challenges. So, there's that. Um, so I'm making good progress on both of those. The only one I don't think I'm, I, I, I might not finish is the audiobook, just because I think I have like four hours left on it. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of where I stand on those. And I am probably going to uh, make the other physical book that I read since I'm not like reading so you want to talk about race straight through so like if I have time I am reading another physical book um, so I think I'm gonna be reading A Song Below Water which was a book I had started prior to the readathon um, so I think I'm gonna read that because that is on my TBR for the month and then if I finish that um, which I won't finish it before the end of the readathon, but um, that's on my TBR for July, and the only other book on my TBR for July is Cantaros, which I don't think that I will finish before the end of the month, um, which is okay. I'll just transfer it to my um, August TBR, but I'm um, hoping that I finish A Song Below Water um, before the end of the month so that I can start Cantaros. Yeah, that's all. I'm going to sleep now and hopefully the baby won't wake up in like two hours. <laughs>